So I'm going to be honest, I have no idea what Vermintide actually is, but that hasn't stopped me from purchasing Warhammer Vermintide 2. Uh, what I've been described as Left 4 Dead 2, but with melee and Warhammer and, you know, blood and guts and let's find out. So it's been a while since we've done one of these, but I thought it was time for another quest and cocktail because honestly, it's Friday night, there's a new game out that I haven't played and it's just the perfect opportunity. So tonight we're gonna grab a bourbon old fashioned and I'm gonna check out, uh, like I said, Warhammer Vermintide 2. I literally know nothing about it. I was convinced to get it by friends that are probably gonna hop on for the tail end of this as we do some of the multiplayer that is apparently what makes this game so good. How do I, oh, how do I get out of this? How do I, how do I stop using a bow? That's, that's not even the bourbon. I just really couldn't figure it out. Oh, now they teach me how to change weapons. No chance I would have wanted to do that before though. These things didn't want to circle around you. That is just difficult. How do you think I heal myself from this damage I've taken? Can I get up here? Oh, guess not. I, I get it, I can change weapons. I had to figure that out in an emergency. Oh, look here. Looky here. Is he down? He's down. I'm learning how to revive. <laughs> he just falls back over. <laughs> I thought I was gonna, I can almost do this. Oh, no, I'm too tired. I think I can go on out. Oh, Jesus. All right. That was actually pretty cool when you change weapons real quick to the bow and then fire it off. Can I blow this up? Classic. Oh. Why, why did it spread to us? What the hell? So I wasn't kidding when I said that. I really have no idea what this game's about. Um, it was one of those things where everybody else seemed to be buying it, and I didn't want to be the one that was left out of the experience. I've heard good things like kind of in passing, but to be honest, that's about all I got. Let's, no, don't, oh, I wanted to drop him. Ooh. What is that noise? Good luck, guys. This music is just, Getting me pumped for stuff. Getting me pumped for stuff. How do you think I throw a grenade? We are just tearing through that guy. <laughs> see you, bud. See you, bud. But it's been a while since I've had a game that you can just kind of pick up, do something for 10 minutes, play a quick multiplayer round. But it seems like I also have a way of, of progressing in this one. I don't know how it works yet, but that's what my friends kept telling me. And I like the idea of like maintaining some kind of progression. Choose my hero. <laughs> what have I learned? Firewalk, the battle wizard. Okay, so you can change to different kinds. The witch hunter captain, very cool. Career, skill, animosity. <laughs> So, I mean, I I guess I just pick a class now. I, I don't really know anything about these guys, but I don't think this is like a one-time thing. Like, I only have one choice. I guess I'll try Mr. Dorfydorf, ranged veteran. Let's do it. I don't I don't feel like a Dorfydorf. What? There we go. Okay, now I feel like a Dorfydorf. Uh... Yeah, recruit sounds good. <laughs> what is that? What was that stance? Ooh, fireballs. Here we go. Here we go. I don't even know what's happening. Obviously. Ooh. This looks very different from the little area we just ran through. I, I'm pretty impressed. I was, I was convinced that like the the whole game was gonna look kind of. Dreary and dungeonous not not to its discredit just like that's the art style and certainly makes development easier when you can <laughs> keep reusing the same sad scary dungeon hallways But but no here we are on the beautiful forest during the day Oh, yeah sniping Whoa, 
This guy's teleporting all over the place. <laughs> They're here. I like that I can switch to, switch to the melee if I have to. Oh yeah, right in the face. New ammunition. Where can I pick that up? Here we go. I got some ammo there. Two. Two shots. <laughs> What's this? What's this little back hallway we're going through? Am I on fire? I feel like I'm on fire. <laughs> My old ranger trick was to throw down some smoke and then... <laughs> <laughs> Walk away. It's weird. I keep trying to to lead the target, but it does a little bit of lock on thing, and I, I guess in the long run that's probably good. I just gotta figure out how that works. Yes. Yeah, you grab that thing. I feel you. <laughs> this is easy when there's a big clump of them. I can just fire, and I definitely have one each time. I'm trying to make sure I go after meaningful targets here, though. Maybe, maybe that's what I'm supposed to be focusing on. I don't really know what my goal here is. Like where, where I'm beneficial. Wait, what? What are you doing? What just happened to me? We're not gonna survive very long if I can't revive any of these people. Oh god, I can't walk through that one. I snuck away, I snuck away. Oh god. Ah, shit. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, my smoke ended, my smoke ended. Oh, come on. Damn it. <laughs> Shit. Okay, so can't revive while being attacked. Just doesn't happen. I should have smoked right in the body. The Quest Night Cocktail idea was formed around the concept that, you know, Steam now allows you to do the returns if you've only played a game for two hours. So if I'm interested in trying out a new game, but I really don't know much about it and whether or not it's going to be something for me, I hop on, do a Quest and a Cocktail, I grab a drink on a Friday night, and I just play it for less than two hours and see how it feels. What happens when I hit 14, 13, with zero seconds here? Or do we fail or, or do we succeed? <laughs> what are we counting down to? Failure. So far it's been pretty good, but all I've done is the prologue and you know one half-assed mission with some people I didn't know. Well, it is a good time. Obviously the reason I got it was to play with some buddies. Hey, Hunt for Games. Oh, look at you, little dwarf. Hey guys, it's Hunt for Games. <laughs> hey, Hunter, watch this, watch, little ass watch this, dwarf. okay? I'm gonna build up, building it up, building it up, building it up. Build. Blowing my load. <laughs> Classic. So you didn't even have oh, to practice. Yeah. You just immediately understood the concepts behind your class. I mean, that, that took a while to get to. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> Are we on the boss right now? You're on a boss. <laughs> oh, Zach God. is so convinced. <laughs> You're not near the end of that level. He's like, it's right here. The end is right here. <laughs> it's right here. Oh my god, I just realized how little my hand hammer is. Like, look. It, I, <laughs> your hammer is so tiny. Your arms are so burly, though. They're so strong looking. <laughs> just wait. Just wait. Here we go! <laughs> Hi, little boy. <laughs> hey, little dwarf. I, I'm a dwarf! I'm a grown man! Like also, there are these things called tomes and grimoires that give you bonus experience if you finish the level carrying them. But you carry them in your health potion slot, so that's a thing. That's <laughs> it. Noted. Right. I just like so I do a heavy attack, dodge backwards. Heavy attack, dodge backwards. There might be other techniques. Nope, that's all I got. <laughs> <laughs> That's all, all I got, man. Are you weaving in any light attacks? Any any blocks? No, just, no, 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 nothing. Just, just no. heavy attack dodge backwards, huh? Yep, 
Heavy attack, dodge backwards. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna get this open side as they come in. Here we go. I'll, uh... I'll wait till you... Dude, flawless. There's gonna be more. This is gonna go on for a while. <laughs> I was okay. gonna say, Zach. Watch out for gas. <laughs> Zach, oh, uh... Stuck in gas. Yeah. <laughs> Locking is very useful when you have your melee weapon out. Whenever you're not... How about dodging like, backwards? Whenever you're not... <laughs> dodge doesn't work that well. It really doesn't. Zach loves the dodge backwards. <laughs> These guys with armor, you need to hit with power attacks. Noted. I'm trying to <laughs> circle around. <gasps> How you doing down there, little dwarfy? I'm doing fine. <laughs> a potion! A potion! Found a potion! Oh yeah, let me throw this lamp oil down here. Oh god. <laughs> He just smack you out of the waker. Yes, oh he did. dear. Say that one more time. He won't leave you. Yeah, he's sort of range based. <laughs> I'm trying to get him to get away from you. Run into the other room with the other guy. I fell. Nope. All right. Well, hey, the guy left me. Poppy's gonna revive me. The ruppy. Oh, the guy me. dropped. He followed me down below. I didn't even know he could come down here. <clears throat> I just got, I just got down from there. Oh, hit the baby on his back. I know it sounds weird, but yeah. he's got baby on his back. <laughs> oh god, this is so messed oh, up. Oh yeah, I got some good hits in there. All right, he's almost dead. Oh, I'm just, I you feel so bad. I feel so bad for beating the shit out of this baby. <laughs> Wanna run back and revive me? Oh, oh. Okay. hang on. Don't die, Hunter. I can't. Oh, we're here for the revive. Oh, this is a mistake. <laughs> I immediately regret my decision. Remember, you can hold block while reviving. Oh, but there's too much. There's too much. Oh, oh God. I, um. I can go, like, invisible. You guys, you guys gotta. I'm down. Oh, shit. Oh shit, now I got me. Well, there we go. We almost made it, guys. Oh. So, what happens now? <laughs> oh, we die. We die. Oh, you fail the mission? But we get experience. Wow, well, that's nice. Defeated! Oh, can I push you into the water just by, like, casually knocking you this way? Yes! You dick. <laughs> I keep looking up, and this is the dwarf's like, aha. Aha. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, after running a few multiplayer missions, both people I did and did not know, it's a fun time. It's definitely more fun with friends, because, I mean, as interesting as the combat is, some classes have more to do than others. Changing between a ranged weapon, firing a shot, and then, you know, swinging light, swinging hard, blocking... There isn't a ton going on with this little character I've got, but I did like that I could kind of go invisible and revive people, and it's cool that different people have different strengths within the game. The real question will be the longevity, but like Left 4 Dead 2, for me it really wasn't about longevity. It's about every once in a while picking it up, enjoying a night with a couple friends, busting through, killing hordes of enemies of various types. Would I keep it after two hours? Totally. I think this game's gonna be a ton of fun for random pick up and play. If you're looking for an intricate story, I don't think you're gonna find it here, but that wasn't really what I expected coming in. The class system seems a little more detailed than I even expected with all these talents and hero selection and everything going on there. So that's pretty cool and I'm excited to see where that goes. I don't know if I'll stick with this character and it is kind of a bummer that you can uh, only have one instance of a character each multiplayer session, but that all depends on your friend group and whether or not you easily balance stuff out like that. Thanks for hanging out for this week's quest in a cocktail, and as always, let me know in the comments whether or not you like this format. There are a lot of games that when they come out, I'm really eager to make a video on my first impressions, but there's different ways I can approach it, and I really appreciate the idea of just within the first couple hours, do I like it? I read a lot of reviews all the time where it says like, yeah, this game really picks up after 10 hours, and while that's really useful and valuable, I'm not going to always make it 10 hours into a game before I realize whether or not I like it. I'm normally going to give it about 20 minutes. <laughs> I've gotten really picky. Anyways, guys, keep on the lookout for more videos, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.
As always, guys, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, you should totally think about subscribing. I've got videos coming out twice a week, and if you like this one, there's at least a chance you'll like some of the others that are very similar to this, so live dangerously. Let me know what you guys thought about the video in the comments and other videos you'd like to see. And finally, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Hunting for Games to keep up with all the latest stuff. See ya.